Here we have a Buck Boost transformer. It's a 120, 240, which will uh, drop it down to 12 or 24 volts, depending on what your supply voltage is. So on the front here, we've got the nomenclature, tells you everything that's going on. We'll take a little bit closer look here, and I'll show you the leads coming out of the bottom of this. We'll go ahead and hook it up both. 120 so that uh, we get the 12 volts and we'll hook it up to 220 so we get the, the 24 volts and you can check it out and I'll show you the wiring on that. So let's take another uh, angle of this. Okay, here we have the, the buck boost. A little bit, uh, here's a little closer shot of it. And uh, this is a Jefferson Electric and it is a 60 cycle single phase 120 240 low voltage 12 24 volts weighs 12 pounds uh, date code i don't know what it means job number i guess that depends on where you ordered it from and serial number 15. anyway it is ul listed so we'll go ahead and take the bottom end of this off you might be able to see that that's this has already been used obviously i'm not gonna break open a brand new transformer for demo purposes. But we'll pull this out and we've got wires. We have a H2, H1, X1, X2 and uh, what else we got in there? And H2, H3, H1, H2, H4. There's quite a few wires in here. This is pretty minimal, really. We have a grounding lug right about in there. And let's see what we need to do. With that in mind, we know that uh, if we use 120 volt supply voltage, we're going to get 12 volts out of this. And if we use 240 volt supply voltage, we're going to get 24 volts out of it. We'll go ahead and show you this diagram. I'll bring it up on a different screen here so you can follow along a little bit better. So we'll take a look at that. Alrighty then, with that in mind, let's wire this up 120 volts supply so that we get the 12 volt uh, secondary side out of it. Looking at the wiring diagram here, it will tell you that primary voltage 120 is H1 to H3. So we're going to look on the wires here where they're marked. And we have H3 here. There's H4. There's H1. We'll twist those together. And then it says we need to connect H2 to H4. So H2, which is this one, and H4, which is this one. Twist those together. And we want 12 volts out of here, so we're gonna connect our secondary lines to X1 and X4. But before we do that, we need to tie X1 to X3. So X1 is right there. X4, X3. We'll twist those together. And then we'll be twisting X2 and X4. And I will double check and triple check sometimes to make sure that I'm getting the correct ones together here. They don't they keep wanting to come apart. So I'm going to throw a wire nut on here for these. And we'll, that way we can just test the voltage once I apply the 120 volt supply. Now I'll just take this little 
jumper cord that I have here. And even though this is just a little temporary thing, I'm still going to land my ground on here. If this was a final installation for me, I'd be using a fork terminal connector or an eye lit terminal connector on this wire. And another thing, laugh if you will, at my pliers, but in all reality, this is what happens in the field. Most people will use what they got without having to climb down off a ladder or go running for somewhere. On this, there's not necessarily a hot and a neutral on the transformer side. It's, it's not telling me that uh, H2 and H4 need to go to a hot and H, uh, la, 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 la. H1 and H3 need to go to the neutral. I've tried this both ways. I get the same result out of it. These are the basics. There's a lot more to transformers. And I do have other transformers for other videos. But this one I happened to be playing with yesterday. And what I'll do is I'm going to plug this back into my uh, control panel in the back back here. to get my power. And we'll check this out. I have 122 going in there. I checked that off the uh, mail side of the cord cap and now we want to check out the secondary voltage on this so my stick my tester in there stick my tester in here and I think you could probably see I'm actually getting 13 volts AC that's one thing that I didn't specify in the very beginning is that this is an AC system, not uh, DC. So I'm going to unplug the male end of this and then I'm going to switch these around and I'll show you that it just it doesn't change anything as far as the voltage is coming out of that transformer. And that one on the secondary side. And we have 13 volts AC. So it doesn't matter on your hot neutral on this. Same thing on your 220. I've disconnected the 120 and we'll be hooking up the 240 now to get the 24 volts. Now according to the little wiring diagram here, on 240 we're going to connect H2 and H3 together under one wire nut. And then H4, H1 and H4 will be our primary lines. H2 and H3, there's H2 and H3. Tie that together. And H1, H2. H2 and H3 and that will go under a wire nut and our primary lines will be H1 H1 and H4 again you don't have to uh, make sure the black is on H4 or red or whatever on this particular transformer. Verify all your wiring diagrams before you wire anything. So we'll use a red wire nut on this one. 
This is still wired on the secondary side for 120. So we'll look at the wiring diagram again. And in order to get to see, we got 240, the primary is hooked to H1 and H4. And then on the secondary, we want 24 volts. So we need to interconnect X2 to X3, which will allow X1 and X4 to give us our 24 volts. So X2 and X3, we'll secondary side off. X2. X3. X3, X2, X2 to X3. Your larger transformers will have the same thing. Have its X1, X2, H1, H2, H3. Uh, your neutral will be an XO. Now being in a controlled situation here. I'm just going to leave these hanging out to make it easier for me to test them. So again we got 240 volts being supplied in here so I interconnected H2 and H3 which is those down in the bottom down there and then H1 and H4 go to my primary contact. At this point, I can go ahead and supply the 220 volt, the 240 volt, and we will uh, check this out. It's actually pumping out 25 volts AC. There you have it. You have your buck boost transformer at 120 pumps out 12 volts and at 240 volt pumps out 24 volts. This is a uh, VA rating of 500. So basically as far as wiring, that's as far as I'm going to go with this today. And later on when I get into some more transformers, we're going to get into the VA rating and that way you'll know what size that you actually need for your particular purpose. So for today, that's it. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.